This is where you'll learn all about train brakes and how they work. On this locomotive, there are three braking systems available to the engineer. Dynamic, auto, and independent. Dynamic brakes work by reversing the polarity of the traction motors. When a train is moving, this action causes resistance against the turning axles. As this system only works when the axles are turning, this means the dynamic brake cannot stop a train, only slow it down. Train or auto brakes work by controlling air pressure in a brake pipe that runs the entire length of the train. This pipe connects to brake cylinders located on each individual car. In turn, these cylinders push directly onto the wheels to slow them down. Locomotive or independent brakes are similar in operation to the auto brake. However, this brake only affects the locomotive itself, not the entire train. The independent brake is used when switching cars in a yard or for holding a stop train on level or low grade. When the auto brake is applied, it directly affects something called the equalizing reservoir. Think of this readout as the target pressure for the air-controlled brakes on the train. Next to it is the brake pipe pressure. This indicates the overall brake pressure along the train. So as the engineer, you set a desired pressure via the equalizing reservoir, and then the brake system will react to match this target. Perform a brake application on this train of 20 cars to see this process in action. Using the auto brake, reduce the equalizing reservoir. Watch for the brake pipe pressure indication to change, matching this reduction, and applying the brakes on the train. Now let's see this same process on a much larger train. Head over to the adjacent locomotive and climb into the cab. This train has a hundred cars. Let's see what difference this has on the reaction speed of the brakes. Repeat the equalizing reservoir reduction from before, again using the auto brake. Watch how long it now takes for the brake pipe pressure to match. The skill of the engineer is knowing when to start braking. Now that we have seen the brakes applied, 
Let's see how long it takes to release them. Using the auto brake, set the equalizing reservoir back to its previous position. This action triggers the brake pipe along the train to begin recharging. When the brake pipe begins to repressurize, the brake cylinders holding the wheels will vent their air completely to the atmosphere. This is a one-way trip. There is no way to partially release these brakes. It's a lot to take in, so that's all for now. The key aspects to remember are, brakes take a while to apply, so plan ahead and be patient. And the brake pipe will only begin to recharge when the auto brake is put into the release position.